Hello everyone, this is Troy Kostasek for Explorminate here once again trying out Thea the Awakening. It's good to have you back with me. And uh, now that I'm trying out this game, it's actually in early access. Um, when I did the previous set of recordings, it, it wasn't even out on Steam yet. So now this is the early access version, and it's not even the first version. This is uh, three patches later. Um, let me check real quick. I can give you the version number. This is 0 0.930.1. So you're going to get a look at the latest version of Thea the Awakening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. Um, just go ahead and do that. Like my last game, I got to play it a little bit further, got a little bit further in the game, and, uh, well, I did okay. Not so great. So I picked up some uh, XP, uh, you know, a few other things. Like you can see from these stats, I, I didn't do the greatest job. So still learning, still cutting my teeth on this game. I'm going to do a different deity this time. I'm going to go to Horos. At this point, he's level 2, which means all of my villagers get a plus 3 bonus to stealth. So they're going to start off stealthier, which is great. I think that may affect their tactical skills in combat. I'm not certain, but I think that may allow them to uh, give other characters first action. I'll have to test that out once we get in the game. Um, I want my villagers to focus on gathering again. This time I'm going to do a small world size so it loads faster. And difficulty is going to be normal because uh, we're still early in early access. And there's, uh, there's no options on that yet. So, hit the play button. The Lord of the Night and Master of the Moon. But even you were struck down when the Cursed Darkness came and stole your mantle creatures of the night that were once yours now serve you no more. The sun and the moon have returned, and so now is the time to strike back, to take what was yours and guide your human worshippers into a better future. So Horos is more or less the god of the night. He's one of the, I don't want to say evil, but maybe one of the darker deities. Here's our little imp friend. Once again, uh, the game will prompt you uh, for a tutorial if you want it each time. We don't, so we're going to skip the tutorial. And again, this is it giving me a chance to watch the tutorial if I accidentally said skip. I really do want to skip. I'll start off with 5 XP and 3 research, which is great. Alright, let's look at all the different things we've got here. We've got 4 people in the city. Let's see what we can gather. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to operate under the assumption that you have watched the first series. Uh, if you have not watched my first Let's Play series or my first Let's Try series, uh, I encourage you to go, ba go back and watch the first and the fifth episodes. Okay, the first and the fifth episodes will give you the most information. Go watch them then come back to this. Um, when the game launches, I'll probably do another Let's Play series and operate under the assumption that uh, it'll be for a new audience who's never watched a Let's Play or, or played the game. But for now, I'm going to assume that you are at least vaguely familiar with how the game works. We obviously need food and we need fuel. Those are the two things we need most. So we're going to add wood and meat to our current tasks. We're going to put wow we got a couple awesome villagers here. We're gonna put Lenka on making meat. We're gonna put Zora on wood. And I'm just gonna turn them on infinite so that way we get as much as we need. Let's go back and look at what we can craft here. All right. Looks like we might be able to do some cooked meals. Okay. Nope. We're going to need herbs. Herbs make the meals taste better. So Slavic 
is going to go to herbs, put him on infinite, and then eventually Vladislav will be able to make an infinite number of cooked meals. Right now I can't make them because I'm lacking herbs, vegetables, or I think that's like kelp, seaweed, something there, the last one. Alright, so I don't think we have any, do we have enough to craft tools? Nope. What about this? Yes, I can make one set of work tools. That's great. Yeah. All right. We'll make one set of crafting tools and that will improve Ladislav's crafting ability. So that's actually kind of nice. Terrific. All right, let's go find our expedition. Our expedition is our gatherers. And they have moved the eyeball button that tells you where everything is. Okay. There we go. Uh, looks like we have herbs, wood, meat, fish, kelp, string, and fruit around us. Not too helpful. Um, we definitely need string. So let's move here and then check again. I see kelp, mushrooms, and fruit. That's interesting. Can we walk over here? Let's see if we can make it there. Yeah, alright. What else we got? I wish I would just leave it on. This, uh, these resources. I don't like that it toggles off every time I click on something. Alright. <clears throat> let's set a camp. And let's start gathering. We're going to need a lot of string. So, Vladik is going to get that. Wow, we have some terrific uh, villagers here in this group. That's fantastic. Um, let's see. We'll get some seaweed. Yanko, you do that. And then the rest of it is not all that important. I really want a lot of string. So we're going to put Sergey on string. I better, well, hold on before we make any rash decisions. All right, let's put, let's grab some seaweed again. And we'll put Dobroka on that. 24. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Um... Wow, that's really bad. Let's put uh, Bartosh on seaweed. There, that's not so bad. And we'll do seaweed again here. Alright, so let's see if we can push this to 12 turns. and we'll gather a bunch of resources that way. Alright, I'm going to set all these different characters for 12 turns, or as close to 12 turns as I, as I can get. Dobroka, she's just going to have to sit there for a while. Maybe I can reassign her to string or something. Oh wait, she's on string. Ugh, she's just bad at it. Alright. All right, let's see. Is that everybody? Yep. Good. Close. All right. I don't see any really super useful stuff, but I bet over here in these mountains I'll be able to get some metal or stone later on, so we'll probably do that. All right. Um, can I research anything yet? Yes, I can. All right. 
these are the resources I can research in order to collect I don't oh excellent they moved they've added these tabs here I think it'd probably be better if the tabs could be at the top instead of on the side but still this is an improvement um, I really like the idea of the well providing random resources each turn that really intrigues me what do some of these others do? Smithy increases crafting herbalist increases health regeneration cabbage field I like that uh, a vegetable oh that increases population growth hmm resources or population growth that's a tough call <sighs> I think that population is a more precious resource so we're going to go with that. And in order to build that, I'm going to need some fruit. So I'm going to reassign somebody over here. Let's see. How many people? Let's get Bartosh off of seaweed and on to fruit. All right, let's do that. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's. I think everybody is assigned. So we're going to hit end turn and see where we go from here. All right. We've got spiders, which are very nasty, and some wasps or bees or something like that. Looks like. Can I click on this for information? No. Be nice if uh, these things had like a tool tip that would tell you just what kind of monsters they are. These little skull icons, you could just hover over that, get a tool tip. That'd be great. Okay, same mornings. Wasps move off. New research available. Well, I think I think I really want this well. What does it take to make one? Oh, very easy to make. I think I want that because to do some of these recipes, I gotta have like some uh materials that are difficult to get, like uh iron that's tough for me to get um I'd like to have iron. And I, I really do want to be able to make clubs. They're an excellent weapon. But I really, I really need the resources for that. Oops. So I think I'm going to try out this well and see if that will work for me. I don't know if it will or not, but we're going to try it. Oh. Bees are attacking. Alright, well, we're going to get to see combat in the first episode here. Alright, opponent plays first. Now if you notice, those bees have something that looks like a spear icon. Spear icon kind of lets you go in front of everybody else. So, that's... Like uh, Bartosh has a spear icon. If I put him up there, he would get to move in front of at least one of those monsters. Um, do I want to try that? Yeah, let's try that. Watch. I'm going to put him up there, and he's going to move in front of one of those bees. There you go. All right. That's good for me. Now I pass the turn. Now I think their bees, yeah, will move. Okay, so they used a tactic to give one of their bees first action. All right. I want Dubrok Dubrokna. 
to go up there and I'm gonna give her first action I believe yeah let's do that and now she's gonna move to the front see how that works now I pass the turn now the bees get to go again and I'm gonna choose Vladik and I'm gonna see if I can give him first action good pass the turn now with my deity giving all my characters stealth that's where all these first action cards keep coming up which makes my guys really good really good in combat so I am going to hmm. let me think I could make my opponent discard his current card or I could make his offense higher I don't think that's gonna matter because these bees are very weak giving him first action won't really help him um... so i'm gonna try this let's see if this works alright so he can't play that B this turn so now i'm gonna pass he gets no play and so we move into the fight phase and these guys will make short work of these bugs now they're gonna suffer some attacks though now see I thought you know one thing that's a little frustrating here is I thought that the monsters would attack left to right so why did they attack Bartosh instead of Vladik there I don't it, that doesn't make much sense to me it doesn't seem like it's working the right way okay so I'm gonna move Yanko onto the board pass a turn move Bartosh on and that should not do what I wanted okay okay good it gives him first action that should keep him safe okay it gives him first action alright well fine we'll just first action there and um, I'm gonna have him get closer this should pretty much take care of everybody let's see it should be the end of combat right there alright good no XP for that even man what a ripoff alright okay I've got a person idle which means that uh, Vladislav finished his crafting tools book of wisdom what does that do plus one intelligence okay I don't know why that might be good alright let's see is this explained at all intelligence intelligence is the primary skill for intellect challenges ah okay but it is also used in many others and can help you overcome many obstacles I should probably equip that. Let's see, he's got four intelligence. She's got two. She's got two. Um, he's got four. Let's give him the book. You got a 
going to hold that? Oh, that's awful. I don't know. That should go like in a... Okay, that works. He'll just be super encumbered, but that's fine. He's got five intelligence now. That's great. Alright, so he's got those crafting tools. Let's see if we can build a pasture. Oh, or a well. Or a cabbage field. What does this take? More wood than I've got. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, I need to collect more wood. Well, until my expedition comes back, we can have him work on wood. And then, in the next episode, we will work on getting that pasture done. So, this has been Troy Kostasik with uh, episode one of our second Let's Try Thea the Awakening, now in early access. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. <laughs>